but it was it's really really funny uh, it, it is not for kids though oh yeah somebody there i've been i've read part of the agent mr dobbs on my show lately actually we read almost the whole pretty much the whole thing uh over the course of several shows yeah from jonathan barlogi a good man in the past gas a brilliant mind uh, oh so he can't be a sub genius then Brilliant <laughs> no, we can uh, we ben can Jonathan. fix that yeah. we, we have ways of fixing that you know they're they're traumatic and brutal though you know head injuries drug overdoses that kind of thing mm. but it, mm. it, intelligence can be cured obviously <laughs> yeah, look, yeah. Or, look around uh, <laughs> anyway we called it church of the sub genius not church of the genius for a reason it's almost everybody with 35 bucks could qualify <laughs> and the people who think they're geniuses are always such stuffed shirts yeah you know book smart that's not the same book smart but they can't change a tire or, or change a diaper fooey to totally absorbed by the con tools bob, the con. Yeah, but bob is not uh, it's not that Bob is smart or clever. It's that he's just lucky. He's lucky, the opposite yeah. of smart. He just lets things happen. He's basically kind of almost brainless, you might say. <laughs> but he, he doesn't matter. He, he doesn't need to be. He, has, he, he said, I'd rather be lucky than good any day. You know, does, does smart get you a date? Not usually. No. Nope. Just yeah, just the other way around, it seems like. So, another thing Bob said that 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 seem that does actually seem to work is, act like a dumbass and they'll treat you as an equal. <laughs> he, he actually used a stronger term than dumbass, but you know, kids might be listening. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Hey, 